Fantastic. Fantastic. Nice. Nice. Okay. Lovely. Lovely. Fantastic. Lovely. Lovely. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to War Thunder with Weeby, and it's been a a considerably long time since I have said those words, I've got to admit. How are you all doing? I hope you are well. Welcome back to the channel. We are playing War Thunder in 2023. Today, I am going to be taking out the A10A Premium because I fancied doing some actual proper ground attack with the Warthog. Now, there's plenty of videos on, on YouTube that have the Warthog being used in Ground RB, but there's not actually too much of ground attacking happening in Air RB. So today, we're going to be trying that out. Now, there's, that is fine for a few reasons, mainly because, well, let's be real, War Thunder Air RB isn't really tailored for ground attacking or bombers. You know, at, at top tier, it's a missile fest. So the chances of survivability in the A-10 <laughs> to, <laughs> to the point where you actually even get close to the ground targets is quite low. So this should be quite interesting for that reason. But I thought, well, why not use it for its actual task? So today, that is exactly what we're going to be doing. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, so I'm not going to lie. This is going to be probably super rusty because it has been a long time since I've done any level of live commentary. <laughs> so please forgive me if I get into grips with things again. But this should be quite good fun. So I'm thinking around where these bombing points are. Right. Around where these bombing points are. You know, what, I'm actually going to lift off the ground because the same thing is going to happen to me. Um, there are AI tank columns and pillboxes to attack. Now, logically, because we're in a slower aircraft, the fighter should get there. For you know what? We've actually not got a bad battle rating here. Huh. But logically, let's form up with this guy. The actual fighter aircraft should get into the battle before us. So they should engage the scary fighters, such as MiG-21. And who else are we? Oh, we're... <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, and absolutely everything else uh, before we get there, which is good. So I reckon let's get nice and low to help hide our radar signature. Let's hope we're not crashing into that guy. Good. And we'll see exactly how far we can get before getting spotted. Also, I appreciate that it might be a little bit dark on your screen, so I will probably boost the shadows in post so you can actually see what's going on. So I've been playing this a little bit in Air RB recently, mainly because I'm trying to grind out a few of my US Tech Tree vehicles. Um, and I've actually been really enjoying it. I kind of, I got this when it first came out. I played it a little bit, but to be honest, I, top tier is not where I'm overly comfortable at. I'm trying to change that, hence why I'm learning to use the high, high tier vehicles. But I'm, I just seem to be more comfortable in early jets and prop era, which, you know, that's kind of the point of the game is that you have choice. But there's so much at top tier that's really interesting content to me. I want to get better at it. So that's kind of the point of us doing this, really. I know that I'm in an A10 and not exactly a, a top tier dogfighter, but, you know, the point still remains. Okay, so MiG-23 just got taken out. That is fantastic news because he was gaining on us quite a lot. Radar's not picking up anything necessarily directly in front of me that's scary. They do sometimes come around this side of the map, so I've got to be prepared for if that does happen. So we've got an F-105 over there. We've got an A-10 following us up the rear. Keep an eye out over here because there could be some people coming around to flank. F3H, not too much of an issue. I'm going to bank around the left here. On a side note, it's actually quite enjoyable doing these commentaries again. Kind of takes me back to 2015, 2016 era. <laughs> War Thunder. Oh. Squirrel. Now, are you AI or are you something? I'm going to pr predict your AI because you're not doing anything too interesting. Right. Okay. So we've actually made it over to where we want to be, which is quite surprising. Um, is there anything over there? Nope. All right, let's set ourselves up for an attack run. I think first off, let's eliminate the AA because that's the biggest threat to us right now. And then 
we will be able to have pretty much free reign over the APCs and the tanks. Wow, their team got absolutely decimated. By the time we do this, we may not even have much to kill. There's one more left, and that's him. Okay, we better hurry up. Oh, okay. Well, that's... <laughs> Wow! <laughs> such such exciting gameplay! <laughs> and just like that, it was almost like the previous game never happened. <laughs> Where we're going, we don't need runways. Okay, so we're going to try and do the same strategy again. We'll go hard to the right and loop back around. Fingers crossed, our team is good, but not good enough to the point in where literally every single person on their team is dead by the time we get to the combat zone because i mean the prediction was correct by the time we got there <laughs> the fighters did engage the enemy but maybe a little too well <laughs> i suppose at least this game mode it's not sunset so you can actually see what's going on this is such a beautiful looking plane man when the a10 first got announced um last year that it was coming to the game it was one of those moments where it's one of the aircraft that has been so, so hyped up and so requested in the game that it was it was one of those like, well, we've got it now, so what's next? I suppose, really, the next logical thing was the F-16, and I assume probably by the end of 2023 we're going to be looking at the F-15 in the game as well. But when I started playing this game back in 2011, 2012, something like that, if you told me that we were going to have the A-10 Warthog or the F-16 or the F-14, MiG-23s, MiG-29s in the game, I would have told you that you were absolutely nuts. Because back then, it was still the 20-tier system, which was lovely for battle ratings because it meant that, well, you weren't compressed into, <laughs> into these tiny little brackets. But, you know, back then, the F-86A5 and the MiG-15 were the top-tier aircraft. That is a plane I should revisit, the MiG-15. Because that was top tier, and back then, that was like peak dogfighting. The Sabre and the F-15. You know what? I really miss that. I miss playing at top tier on Korea. Is Korea even still in rotation these days? Okay, we've got MiG-21 up high. Quite a few MiG-21s. There's nothing that's immediately scaring me. Maybe the Su-22. If I keep low, I'll just try and hide my radar signature. He's getting fairly close, so we'll have to keep an eye on him. Nothing else over here as of yet. We haven't got anything to our front or left as of this. I thought I heard a jet then. Right, I'm being locked by something. What? Possibly the SU-25. Moment there, okay. Okay, so last match, those were definitely AI that we spotted. Is this guy coming towards me for help? I think he might be. Let's see if we can... Oh, I'm getting... I am getting locked up front. What is that? I can hear something. Hello? Uh, okay. <laughs> what thunder moment! <laughs> right, let's try and help out this F5. Okay, he's breaking off for now. I'm not going to waste that shot. Similar to last match, we've got low levels of players, so we've got to make use of this kind of like now. Right, he's down. Oh, SU-25. Let's see if we can get a... A lock. Come on. And fight. Oh, close. Right, let's see if we can get this guy. It's been a long time since I've dog <laughs> been dogfighting with uh with jets. Okay, you, you should be going down. Yep, there we go. Nice. Fantastic. First kill. Right, let's try and take out these gepards. Actually, no, I think they're M40, M247s. I don't know what they're called these days. Yep, there we go. Right, you're down. You're down.
Oh, criticaled, which is good. Oh, if you're wondering why the sounds might be slightly different to your version of the game, I'm using the uh, ETSM sound mod. By far the best sound mod in the game. Wow, that was really resilient. <laughs> down and fantastic I think it's as well when people play the A10 it's very rare that you're using uh, dumb rockets what is that guy doing fair play it actually pulled out <laughs> nice great See, this is the kind of game mode you want, where there's a load of AI units, but there's like one or two of these guys left. You can just rack up points. Wow, I missed every single one of those shots. And we're about to win the game, so let's see if we can get the final kill. One more. Let's try it. See if we can. Whoop. No, I don't think we're going to get in time. No. Come on. Come on. Come on. Are you going to go do your thing? No. Yes, maybe. Hey! There we go. Final kill of the match. See, that's not too bad. Top five at least. See, this is exactly why a gr ground attacking in this thing is not actually a bad way to go. That's not bad going for purely... I know we got one air kill, but for purely ground attack focus, that's not bad going. Okay, so we're on Golan Heights, which uh, is a main... I'm not going to lie, there is stuff in the middle here, but... I would say it's mainly an air app. Uh, air app? Air map? So that's why I've gone with just the cannon and the missiles this time around, because I f get the feeling we're going to be in a position where we're going to have to defend ourselves, so that turn time is going to come in clutch. But I'm still going to focus on ground targets as my main primary objective. Okay, so we have actually got a very nice line of targets right there. However, we all know that they generally like to go this side. I've just realized that place is called Tyre. Oh, I am being locked by something on radar. Let's get lower so they break the radar lock off of me. One thing about this map. What the hell went on when they were creating this image? It is so bizarre. It's like someone's just smeared custard all over the place. There is something quite cool about just flying low level through canyons and stuff in the A-10. <laughs> because it's almost like sneaky warfare. I know it's not because it's a freaking slow hump of metal but i don't know there's something quite cool about seeing the dog fighting going on around you and you're trying to get around the, <laughs> the back without being noticed right so we're starting to get closer to the combat zone now these su-25s may be a concern depending how or oh, because there is a mm, i suppose it's kind of balanced team wise right now but not I don't really want to have to engage them unless I really need to. Uh, but we're, lo we're losing fighters by the dozen. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. Um, all right. So, I reckon let's try and get a few ground kills. And we're inevitably going to die. <laughs> so, <laughs> get a few ground kills and see if we can take out a couple of these frogfoots. All right, let's see what we can do. Even if we die, if we can get a ton of ground units. that Oh, nice work, F8. Fantastic. Fantastic. Alright, let's try and get this APC. Not quite. I'm concerned about how close they are, to be honest. We're definitely going to have to engage these guys at some point. Nice. Anyone else close? Not real. Uh, the Su-25. But if he leaves me alone, I will leave him alone. Them's the deals. Uh, 
Nice. Okay. We're doing some work. We're doing some work. Right, let's try and take out this chap as well because he's anti air. Lovely. Lovely. Let's see if we can get this chap. Fantastic. Anyone on me? No, not yet. Lovely. Even better. So what are we on now? Ten. Ten ground units. That's not bad going. Anyone on our six? Not as of yet. Lovely. Let's get this pillbox as well. Who else is here? No one right now. So this is kind of one of those bizarre moments where the enemy team has absolutely clobbered us, but they're kind of leaving me alone at the moment, which is unexpected. Fantastic. And another. What else have we got? Uh, I would go after the tanks, but I kind of can't be asked. Yep, Frogfoot over there. Maybe better. What have we got shooting at us over? I think it's just the M113s. The rules are I must keep myself a little bit of ammunition just in case. Uh, just in case we need to get into a dogfight. 17 ground targets destroyed. This isn't bad going, you know. Let's go get these APCs down here. They seem to be beating me at the moment in terms of um, ticket drain, though. Nice. C25, I won't engage you if you don't engage me. Is he coming in? No, he's not. Fair enough. Fantastic. 21 ground units destroyed. Holy crap. Uh, let's see if we can get this guy. Critical, but nothing major. Right, we've got to be super careful now because we're running really low on... Uh, on ammunition. I do need at least some rounds in case. Cool. Right. I reckon let's start to RTB. Oh, okay. Right. Well, that's... What are you going to do? Are you going to come after me or are you not? No? Okay. Alright. This is bizarrely unusual for War Thunder players. <laughs> I've never been in a match where people have just left others alone. I mean, there's 12 minutes left. I could try an RTB, but... Huh. I'm not sure what to do here, really, because I haven't got enough cannon rounds to kind of continue... ...attacking these ground units, but... Well, I could at least go get some pillboxes, right? What a weird game. So how many of them left? There's four of them. Okay, it's you that's locking me. Right, okay, that's fine. Fantastic, okay. Try and maximise these uh, these cannon rounds as much as possible. What are you going to bomb? Nice, well done. There we go, lovely. Right, we are now minus 100 rounds, so... Oh, yes, F-104. If you can take them out as well. Yes. Oh, if only I brought rockets this time around. Oh, okay, they crashed. Yes, F-104. F-104, if you do this, we can do this. Okay. Okay. You know what this... Oh, an Anna Su-25. Come on, come here. Ah, sh <laughs> <laughs> uh, Panic. Right, no, I'm going to save you. Oh, 
Whoa! No, 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 Yeah, come on. Alright, that's me out. Annoyingly. Oh, we're so close! Is there anything I can shoot at? Ah, oh, crap. There's not much I can do about this. He's gonna get me. He's gonna get me. Unless there's something... Oh! No, 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 Ah, oh, damn it. Not good enough. That's a huge shame. That's a huge... That was so close! Oh my god! For 27 ground, ground units. That's not bad going. Let's be honest. Nearly 9,000 RP. But one thing that... That is abysmal. 55,000 lines for that. Man, it just... I don't know. It's just not... For that amount of effort, I'm, I'm not sure. Well, it looks like Sinai's uh, top tier's favourite map at the moment. So I guess we'll do a similar tactic to before. I think seeing how these games have been going, the majority of them seem to get taken out mid-match. Now, that's either their team or our team. So by the time we get to this th first initial set of pillboxes, I reckon we'll be all right. I reckon we'll be okay. Also, one thing that really bugs me, right, is that you've got the map. You can zoom in and out. But I want to be able to zoom in on where the cursor is. I don't want to zoom in where my plane is. I want to zoom in where the cursor is. Gaijin, please fix. Just thinking about it. If we'd taken the rockets last last match, we would have won that game. One thing I do really appreciate, though, is how detailed the cockpits are. To be honest, I've got to give this a shout out to the actual um, modelers for War Thunder at the moment. They're on an absolute streak. The the quality and the detail in the, in the models lately is absolutely superb. I mean, especially when you start looking at, like, early models in the game versus late models in the game. I know that Gaijin have been slowly updating those. You know, HE-111, BF-109, Spitfire, for example, have been slowly being updated. But, I mean, if you look at a lot of the early Russian stuff, so the Yak-1, the Yak-2, Yak-3, uh, very early LA-5s, that kind of stuff, they still look like their 2012 models. I know that a few of them have had texture updates, but you can tell what's high poly model versus high resolution textures, in my opinion. See, maps like this just make me want to have a Gulf War map. Like, that'd just be so sick. Speaking of, I wonder why we haven't had a Paris air map yet, or a London air map. That'd be something really cool. It would probably be for arcade battles, I'm not going to lie. But there'd be something really cool having a dogfight over London. Okay, so Su-25 is getting a little bit too close for comfort. Hopefully I won't show up on radar though. Oh, hello. And three, two, one. Let's see what does that does. Come on. Be distracted, be distracted, be distracted, be distracted, be distracted. Yes! <laughs> yes, okay, that's that's a win. Actually, you know what? I do not like it over there. <laughs> let's let's wait for Oh my god, there's no team! What happened? So you telling me it's only A10s left? Okay, you know what? We're starting to move away. I'm gonna engage these ground targets. So that I at least get some points. <laughs> right, let's give this a go. Yeah, well, I'm going to be the last one standing pretty soon, I reckon. Nice. Okay. Let's try and get as many points, because we're definitely going to die. But the whole point of this video is to use the A-10 as a ground attacker, so that's exactly what we're going to do. Also, I love that I could see his missile before him showing up on radar.
Oh, damn it. Hey, we're still alive, though. How much have we got here? Oh, I don't think we're going to be able to... Mm, uh, nah. Oh, well. So, that is it for this video. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing me use the A-10 as an actual ground attack aircraft for a change in Air RB. If you did enjoy, please leave a like below and please consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this. Until next time, take care.